Hey everyone, super quick video today from the Outer Hebrides, no less, uh, about the big update to the Avata 2, which came out this week. Now, I have been a busy lad working my way up through the desolate and frankly staggeringly beautiful Outer Hebrides off the west coast of Scotland for the last week or so. And I was lucky enough to have some of the best weather you could have hoped for, making these fairly incredible beaches look more like the Caribbean. Absolute amazing stuff and had a brilliant time with the Mini 4 Pro, the Air 3 and also the Avata 2 which is what I wanted to talk to you about today. When the Avata 2 came out uh, last month a lot of people were quite rightly miffed that it did not work or support the existing Goggles 2 and the Motion Controller 2 which of course the original Avata came out with. Uh, DJI did mention they were going to be upgrading things to increase its compatibility and this latest firmware update does just that. Uh, first off, I should mention that it's probably way easier to update the firmware of the Avata 2 via DJI Assist uh, running on your laptop or your computer. But crucially, make sure you have downloaded the latest version of DJI Assist. I think it is version 2.1.21. I'll put a little thing up, uh, which you get from dji.com slash downloads. I spent a fun half hour trying different USB leads to get it connected. And then I realized I was running an older version of DJI Assist that didn't recognize the Avata 2. Just connect the drone and click update to latest firmware, then do the same for the goggles and the motion controller to make sure everything is up to date and synchronized. If you're using the goggles 2 and the motion controller 2, then they will now recognize the Avata 2 as well. And that is the one of the key points of this latest firmware update. Now the Avata 2 will work with the goggles 2 and the motion controller too, which is some backwards compatibility that many people wanted. And it now means that if you already own those, then you can just buy the drone only package for just £429 or $489, which is not bad at all if you're happy with the existing goggles too and the controller too. Personally though, I do love the combined battery and the strap of the goggles 3, but is that worth another £400? Well, I guess that's your call. Uh, what else? DJI expanded the compatibility of the Vata 2 to work with the Goggles Integra and also the FPV RC2 as well. So again, less to buy if you already own that equipment. DJI have also added two key new features to the Vata 2. Uh, if you're running it on Goggles 3, then you'll also now get D-Log-M color mode uh, to record in and bring out the colors better in editing afterwards. And perhaps most fun of all, certainly what I had most fun with, is the new super slow-mo 4K 100 frames per second mode. It really lets you record things in brilliant detail and slow things right down in editing afterwards to get some absolutely fantastic video results. I really was having some great fun on a truly desolate and deserted beach on Uist, which is one of the smaller islands of the Hebrides. Uh, you genuinely can have so much fun with this crazy little drone skimming along the waves and the ground. Absolutely loved it. And now with this uh, 100 frames per second super slow-mo, get even more detail and a lot more fun. Now, what else? DJI mentioned that for those of you using Lightcut for editing, then a beta version of that app is going to be released at the end of this month. It'll get an update where you will get a few more functions as well. You'll get um, wireless connection, uh, sky visual effects, and one-touch editing. So that's coming, as I said, at the end of May. Uh, you won't have it quite yet, but it is coming, and now you know. So that's it. Very, very quick video. As you can tell, I'm still on holiday, still exploring the Western Isles of Lewis and Harris at the moment. Had such an incredible time here and seen some truly amazing scenery and some ancient, ancient Neolithic sites that are actually older than Stonehenge. Plenty more pictures and video on my Instagram account at Ian in London if you want to see a bit more of this wild and woolly part of Scotland. Otherwise, for now, that's it. I hope you found this useful. If so, as ever, give me a little thumbs up, help the video along, let me know your thoughts below. And as ever, until next time, have fun, happy flying.